Hey guys, I am here today with another crystal haul video. Um, I've got actually two packages that came in today. One of them is from, um, and I've, I've done some of theirs before. Hold on a second. Let me grab the card from earth art and lapidary. They are located in Florence, Colorado. Um, they have a rock and crystal shop. They have thousands of beads. They do um, custom jewelry, um, lot, lots of things, silversmithing. Um, my jewelry I'm wearing today is actually from their shop. This is an 80 inch um, quartz and sodalite necklace and also sodalite earrings. Um, so I've got their box over here and in my lap is actually one of my orders from China. Now I don't actually know which it is. A lot of times when you order um, from overseas, the tracking numbers don't exactly add up. Uh, the last thing I knew was that they left the country of origin, but I really have no idea when things are arriving. So this could either be something I ordered from Wish, something I ordered from um, AliExpress. I have placed an order with a wholesaler um, off of Instagram. So I don't know what is in this one, but I am going to open this first. Um, and there was, there was actually a spider, spider on the package and it landed right here. I had to pull it off right before the video. So I have no idea what this is because I have ordered not just crystals, but I've ordered some witchy pins and some, some other little things off of um, Wish and AliExpress. So bear with me because I have no idea what I'm opening here. <laughs> I guess we'll just we'll just have to wait and see part of the problem is when you order things off of wish it can literally take if you've never ordered from there before it can literally take like a month or two months like the arrival date was listed like july 19th for these so i was not expecting it and half the time when you order you'll completely forget that you placed an order and then things will randomly show up so so yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what I've got here. This looks like a little crystal ball stand. I did order a, like a gazing ball, a red one. Um, the stand must have come with it because I don't, I don't think I placed an order for a separate stand, but it's cute. It's got like a little red velvety thing here and it turns. That's kind of nifty. Like I said, I don't, I don't think I actually paid for this. I think it maybe it's coming with the ball. This is definitely round. So this, this must be the ball I ordered and I already have a few actually um if you've seen my other videos maybe not I've got this septarian one which also this was ordered from wish it is real it is very very heavy um and I've got an amethyst over here also very real very heavy I have yet to receive a fake crystal from wish um so yeah, maybe I lucked out. I know in my previous videos, if you want to go back and watch those other crystal hauls, I listed some of the shop, like the seller names, um, where I had bought some of my previous crystals that were definitely real. So I think they're kind of safe to order from. Um, this one, I wasn't going to be quite sure if it was real or if it was going to be just, you know, like a colored glass or something because I wanted something that was red. And this... I'm pretty sure that this is colored glass and not not a real crystal because there's lots of bubblies in it but this is this is kind of the exact color that I was going for so I this literally looks like a giant marble so I'm pretty sure 99% sure that this is a glass this is just glass um, but I probably paid less than $20 for this, not, not including shipping. 
but it still looks pretty neat. Kind of reminds me of a planet, like with gas, because it's got it's like got the colors swirling around. And guys, if um, if you've ordered like gazing balls before, a lot of the ones you'll see online that are clear, um, like that are crystal clear, will actually be just a glass ball. And there's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to use, you know, a crystal rock ball. Um, you know, you just need to have something that you can you can focus on and whatnot. And you know, a lot of these are also just used as cool decor pieces. And this is super, super neat looking though. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that this, this will be my first one that is actually glass and not a real crystal, but is still very cool looking. I need to set that somewhere, it's not gonna roll away. Oh wait, the stand. Okay, here, put it on the stand. There we go. Okay, so that was the, that was from Wish. Now, I am going to, I just opened the box. This is the box from Earth Art and Lapidary. Um, they are friends of mine. They own a, a small business, a small crystal shop in Florence, Colorado. Like I said, they, they made my jewelry I'm wearing. And they do, at least during quarantine, they've been doing a live Facebook show like four or five days a week where they'll show certain items on a table and then people can first come first serve on who gets what. Okay, so this is a lid to a fossil jewelry box such as this. I have a whole collection of these now. I have a lot of jewelry um, and I need places to keep them and why not something fossily? I love fossils, fossils are awesome. Um, actually in my last box, I had a few things that were broken. Um, thing, things were pretty carefully wrapped but it was probably you know dropped by um, a postal worker at some point. So they, this is actually part of a replacement because I'd ordered a, another um, a square jewelry box. So this was very, very generous of them and they paid for my shipping for this box too. So uh, if you guys want to join in on their lives, um, go to their Facebook page. I will link it below. Um, the, it's the shop owner, Tammy, who actually does the Facebook lives. Um, I don't think they're done on the business page. They're done on like her personal, her personal page. So this is going to be very heavy. I want to be very careful with this. I do not want to be breaking anything. Yes, please be with, uh, <laughs> please have a little patience though, because these are, I am actually unwrapping everything straight out of the box. I, I haven't, aside from my very first one, I, I went back and did some things I'd already gotten like off of Wish. Um, these are things that I'm opening for the very first time. So I don't just have a pile sitting next to me. So I don't really know what, what it is that I'm opening. Okay, so this is a selenite charging plate. It is wrapped in, um, wrapped in some plastic here to kind of protect the finish a little bit. So this was um, a little fish, fish fossil. It has broke, it's broken. I will fix it though. It's pretty cleanly broken, so that's okay. It, it was a very thin piece and you know, that's, that's the thing with ordering, you know, ordering rocks and crystals you know, from hundreds of miles away, it's just, you can't predict what is going to happen, you know, when things are in route. So things happen. Okay. 
Okay, this is this is just a little trivet dish, a little mermaid tail trivet dish to put some jewelry in. Um, and this here is a cool little, I think it's pewter maybe, a little dragon charm. I'm gonna, I've got some wood, be wood beads and some leather cord. I'm probably gonna make, turn this guy into a keychain. Um, there is actually, a there's a real pearl right here. Um, Tammy went ahead and, and put a pearl there. Like he's he's about to eat eat the pearl. It's really cute. This this is something I'm going to be very careful with. This is a very neat piece, um, and I, I should post the link too below. This is a piece of petrified wood that is covered in blue agate. And it comes from a particular forest Very, very neat. I've got some pieces over here that are just, I have to be very, very careful with. And this is going to be one of them. I'm gonna move this over here because there was a little piece that came off of that. That was actually my, that's my very first um, specimen of um, petrified wood. There's always something that I wanted and, you know, there's lots of little versions and, and other stuff, but I thought this one with the, the blue agate was super neat. So this is the bottom to the fossil, the heart-shaped fossil box, the jewelry box. Love that, it's so pretty. This is, let's see, hand carved in Peru. I believe it is out of a jasper and it is a little turtle. Look how cute he is. I've got some little um, dinosaurs back here and <clears throat> I've got my hand carved obsidian raven. I actually have two of these in different sizes, a big one and a little baby one. Um, these are also hand carved in Peru. I love these. I love the ravens. Okay, and I'm gonna have to use my my knife here to cut back some of this tape. Likewise, this is another very heavy piece. Um, my last box that you guys would have seen had this huge chunk of pyrite in it that I weighed it on my little, I assume it's accurate, my little kitchen scale, and it weighs over seven pounds. So likewise, this is going to be a big, a big specimen here. And that's the thing, you know, these are beautiful one-of-a-kind pieces and all it takes is one person, a single person, you know, in, in the delivery route to, to toss this box, um, you know, and something could, something could get broken. I mean, it's like, it doesn't even matter how well something is packed, um, you know, things, things, things still happen, so. Oh my gosh, this is amazing and it is in all one piece i'm now covered in 
paper shreds. Oh my God, this is awesome. Oh, look at this chunk of smoky quartz, y'all. Holy cow. And it is on an, a solid iron base here that has been drilled up into the middle of this specimen. Look at this. There is some crazy, crazy energy coming off of this piece. Now, if you're doing like crystal grids um, or you want to keep, you know, a small pocket stone, you know, that's one thing. But like for me and for my personal space, like I've got, I finally got kind of an altar-ish thing put together up here. Um, I had to get some little boxes and drawers and the little the little shelf actually just came today um because i just had things all over the place but i love the energy that i get off of these these large pieces um and i work up here this is actually my workstation and um i like to sit here and be surrounded by this all day long it just it helps me focus it helps me think um And this was the box, and this is the mineral specimen, everything you've just seen except the, um, the crystal ball. It came from Earth Art and Lapidary. And if you guys are over there in Colorado and you stop by, they're, they're going to be opening up their front door soon. Um, I know that Tammy is a silversmith, and they're going to be doing some renovations. So when you walk by the shop, she's actually going to be in the front window doing her silversmithing. Um, but yeah, definitely the place, the place to go if you need some custom jewelry, necklaces, bracelets, rings, um, earrings, you name it. Amazing, amazing. That is really heavy. But yeah, once again, these are the little sodalite earrings and the 80 inch necklace that Tammy had made for me. But that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, I will be doing another crystal haul video at some point. Um, maybe when I'm completely finished over here, I'll do a quick little altar tour. So thank you once again and uh, see you later.